Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to blog number eight. Uh, you may have noticed I'm wearing a silly hat. I apologise for that, but it is actually surprisingly cold today. We've had some lovely mild weather, and today it's just cold. So I'm sitting here with a heater on, two heaters on, and a cup of tea, and a silly hat on, because it's cold and because it's silly. And I wouldn't want to be serious for you. No, no, no. Mm. Last blog was all serious and showing me going through pain and misery as, as one wrote a show. Uh, but that is now all moderately over. Um, lots of news. I can now tell you things, uh, which is rather nice. Uh, so, uh, Storyteller. Um, now I've been saying I was going to be touring in September uh, through to November and then we have a six-week run in London. This is all a lie! Ha ha! Yeah. Um, actually what's happened is it's all been moved forward. Um, so I'm now doing three nights uh, at the new Wimbledon studio in July. Uh, so that's uh, going to be the first performance of the new Storyteller show. That said, there are going to be lots of Storyteller shows this year. Uh, there's definitely going to be a ghost story show in October, and I may do a whole set of different stories for the November through January run. So this first story that I've been working on the Natural History of Trolls, which is still changing shape as we decide how long the actual show is going to be, um, but he's basically written and is there, and I quite like it. I'm quite happy with it now. Um, but there's still lots to do with it, and we haven't gone into proper rehearsals yet with directors and things. Um, now, the whole point about this first show, it's a tryout for a, a format I want to do for later shows, uh, where we have uh, additional uh, cast members who come in and rehearse uh, with me during the day and join the show that evening, uh, doing short two, three, maybe four minute long monologues uh, and that's sectioned into the show uh, and which details for auditioning. If you want to audition and be part of the show, uh, I'd like you to audition, uh, but I'd like you first of all, for those who have the technology, to do it online in a similar fashion to this. Uh, I'll tell you all about that uh, later on uh, in a couple of weeks' time as we get closer to uh, the schedule uh, for doing these things. Uh, but that will be the thing. Opportunity for as many people as possible to get involved in the show. Uh, and it will be a case that there will be six or seven people, uh, I'd like six or seven different people, uh, every day to come down, do a couple of minute monologue, uh, we rehearse all day with that, and then we section it into the show. Uh, which, as I say, there'll be lots of uh, opportunities for anyone who wants to get involved in that. You will get paid, not very much, but you will get paid. You'll be on a percentage of the uh, of the uh, profits, uh, a percentage to be despised, when I know how many people I actually want per show. Uh, I don't precisely know how many additional uh, cast members I want yet. Um, and so the writing for that show has now been uh, uh, going uh, reasonably well, and uh, when all that is decided... I'll let you know. What else has been going on? Uh, well, uh, Teaching Gods, the ultimate selection. Uh, this is a mock-up poster um, for the show at Baron's Court. At Baron's Court. Oh, bless old Baron's Court. Uh, which uh, is going to be on on the 22nd of May. You can book your tickets now, phone up, or, or just email me and reserve tickets. Uh, you can do that via me if you like. Uh, tickets are £10 or £8 concessions. However, if you are interested, there is a show on uh, the two weeks prior to uh, Teaching Gods, The Ultimate Selection, which has all the best monologues from Teaching Gods and other stories, uh, including Fantasy Terrorist League, Keynote Speaker, Bink, and Teaching Gods itself, as well as, of course, The Alternative Seagull. Um, the two weeks prior to that, uh, there is a production of The Revengers, uh, which is uh, sort of like The Avengers, but not, um, uh, <laughs> which is being directed by a cast member of Teaching Gods, The Ultimate Selection, uh, Simon Nader, and uh, is, uh, is going to be fabulous and marvellous and will be on for the two weeks prior to that. And if you go to The Revengers, uh, you can get tickets to see Teaching Gods and The Revengers um, for a slightly reduced price. You can get a discount, and so you can see more theatre for less, if that makes sense. Uh, what else have I been doing? Um, 
one of the reasons why the, the whole schedule uh, has changed and why I'm doing less in the middle of the end of the year uh, is partly because um, I keep taking on other jobs um, and other things keep coming up. Uh, one of the things that's come up recently, and one of the reasons I've been doing less blogs uh, as I'd, than I'd intended the last couple of weeks, is the production of Dancing at Lunasa by Brian Friel. I'll bring that closer because it's quite small. Uh, Dancing at Lunasa which I've taken over direction of, uh, I inherited the production and uh, we've been rehearsing that for a couple of weeks so that's why I've been a, a little crazy trying to get the uh, the writing of Story Stella done a couple of weeks ago. Um, so Dancing Lusa going fabulously well, uh, lots, lots of uh, Irish people um, uh, doing Irish dancing and, uh, and telling the lives of ordinary Irish folk in the 1930s uh, and that's going to be a fabulous production which will be going on in May uh, the 10th to the 14th of May. Uh, this is a Sudbury production, so anyone who's London based or in fact based in anywhere else in the rest of the world uh, that is uh, uh, only available for those who go to the Key Theatre in Sudbury uh, between the 10th and the 14th of May. Now the day after Dancing Lunasa finishes uh, there will be auditions again in Suffolk uh, for a youth production. Uh, I uh, uh, run in, uh, down at the Key Theatre in Sudbury the uh, first call youth theatre there um, and on the 15th of May there will be open auditions for anyone who considers themselves young um, <laughs> at 2.15 at the uh, Jetty Space at the Quay uh, there will be auditions for The Rivals uh, script packs and uh, various information um, and stuff for that will be going out by the end of the week so don't go uh, hurrying uh, to me for more information yet but if you do, uh, you are young and you are interested uh, or you know someone who is young and who is interested and lives in the Suffolk area then uh, just uh, give me a buzz at Milkwater Productions and uh, we will uh, be able to uh, uh, tell you all about it. Um, what else has been happening last week and a half uh, since I did anything uh, blog wise? Um, we almost had a photo shoot. I was hoping to have a be able to show you photographs uh, for the new show, uh, Storyteller, but uh, uh, sadly the, we weren't able to get the trolls. The trolls agents came through and said they weren't available, so that we weren't able to do that. Um, and I held a read-through for the second part of my epic, epic, stupidly long play, Amleth, um, which went rather well. It was, uh, uh, second part needed a little revision, um, and I was able to... So I'd like to thank all those readers who came down for helping me with uh, get to grips with that. It was uh, sadly held on the same day as the uh, the protests in London, so uh, a lot of my re readers weren't able to make it. And sadly, I wasn't able to go myself because uh, uh, I had to do this read through, uh, which I said I'd be at. So um, I wasn't able to to, to protest, uh, which is a bit sad. But never mind. Um, so uh, yes, it's it's been a terrible week uh, for arts uh, cuts and things, and uh, and so that's sort of been uh, a little bit of a drag factor on the working side. And sitting down, trying to to get words to come out and be inspired is remarkably difficult when uh, uh, so many other people in other institutions are having their their jobs endangered uh, for no readily apparent reason whatsoever. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Pointless, pointless, pointless cards. But never mind. So, on that note, um, many shows coming up. More details will follow. Uh, keep an eye on the uh, the written blogs, uh, for they will they will contain details. Thank you very much. Bye. Ah!